Hi everyone, I'm now moving on to the role of erosional processes in the formation of landforms. So basically what this video is about is how do headlands, cliffs, wave cut platforms, stacks, arches, caves, stumps all form. I hope I remembered all of those. So let's start with a headland. Well, a headland forms where you have discordant coastline. You need layers of soft and hard rock which run at right angles to the sea. That soft rock erodes first due to both hydraulic action and abrasion and then you get the formation of that headland together with a bay. But what about a wave cut platform? Well, as the name suggests, you're going to end up with a notch at the base of a cliff. So the waves pound the cliff between the low water mark and the high water mark, creating a notch. Now, hydraulic action and abrasion will deepen that notch, so you end up with this kind of overhang. That overhang is unsupported, so it eventually collapses, producing a huge amount of debris on the base of the cliff, and through the action of the waves, that will remove that debris over time, meaning that the cliff will retreat, and at low tide, you'll see that wave cut platform being exposed as that water retreats. Now the cliff is further altered in its shape by the action of weathering. That could be mechanical weathering, so freeze thaw weathering, where water gets into cracks in the cliff, freezes, expands, causing chunks of that rock to break off. It could be chemical weathering, so that's really the action of acid rain. Biological weathering is when those plant roots get into cracks and they cause those cracks to widen. And again, those rock bits will fall off further eroding the cliff. So the ways in which a wave cut platform and cliffs are produced are very tightly linked. Now let's talk about the formation of caves. So first of all, let's think about the headlands. Now the headland receives an awful lot of the wave's energy because of the way in which that headland juts out to sea. So the wave pounds away with hydraulic action, abrasion due to any pebbles and rocks being carried by the waves, and that attacks any cracks in the headland. So eventually those cracks widen and deepen, forming a cave. Now, when that eventually breaks through, that's when an arch is formed. So that's when you can see the light all the way through that cave. So you'll create this huge arch. Now the roof of that arch is unsupported. So eventually it collapses, forming a long pillar of rock known as a stack. And as that further erodes, a stump will be formed.